Hi, I'm Phil Simpson. I'm a Product Marketing Manager here at Red Hat. JBoss Enterprise Business Rules Management System is a platform for business automation. It allows you to separate the business rules from your application code and present them to the, in a way that the business can understand and, and can more easily change. It consists of four main components. First of all, we have a repository. The repository is the centralized storage location for business rules and, and other related definitions. Um, it includes access controls. It includes version control mechanisms uh, to provide governance over the information stored there. We provide a web-based tool for business users to access and uh, manipulate information in the repository. This is an intuitive interface that allows the business to directly look at and uh, control the, the definitions in the repository. We also have a developer tool, which is a plugin for the Eclipse environment in our JBoss Developer Studio. This allows developers to access the repository directly from their development environment um, in an environment they would be familiar with for uh, developing Java applications. And then finally, uh, BRMS contains a runtime service, a decision service. This service takes information from applications in the form of facts, evaluates those facts against rules extracted from the repository, and renders decisions based on those facts. So for example, an application may present um, a mortgage application as a set of facts to a decision engine. The engine would reference a series of rules, make a determination about the validity of the claim, and return that back uh, to the application. Now, in addition, Enterprise BRMS also contains complex event processing. What that does is it allows us to use a special type of rule, time-based rules or temporal rules, to evaluate streams of real-time information that are presented to it. So events that are generated from some external source can be fed into the engine, and we can use rules to look for patterns in those events and, and take action when we see uh, specific uh, situations occurring. So for example, um, if you think of a logistics application where maybe we're tracking a fleet of delivery trucks and we're receiving uh, GPS events from those trucks, uh, we could use the complex event processing capability to look for potential delays and, and automatically reroute trucks as, as required. Now, in BRMS 5.3, the next release of this product, we're adding a very significant new functionality in the form of business process management, BPM. Business process management tools allow us to create models of business processes and store those in the repository along with the rules. And a business process model um, might look something like this. Um, typically, it's a flowchart that shows the steps involved in completing a business process. So back to the insurance claim example, it might show the steps involved in validating and uh, evaluating a claim in order to make a payment. With BRMS 5.3, we can model these processes and store them in the repository along with the rules and then deploy them to the runtime for execution. So that at runtime, the engine, for example, will take um, an insurance claim through this process as defined by these steps um, and interact with people um, and uh, potentially other applications as defined by the model. Now, what's really significant in 5.3, however, is the integration between the business process management, the business rules, and the complex event processing. Everything is very tightly integrated together. So, for example, we can leverage uh, business rules directly within a business process. We could um, use a step in the business process to actually evaluate a set of rules. So we can directly call the rule engine presenting facts obtained from the process, obtain a decision, and then as a result of that decision, decide what the next steps in that process should be. In addition to integrating rules, we can integrate events. Uh, we could, for example, have this process triggered by an event. So if it were a logistics process, um, maybe we get an event from the event system that says there's a delay to a shipment and we need to do some rerouting and the response to that event is this process. Uh, we can even respond to events at any point during a process execution. We can um, set up separate sub-process that would be triggered if an event occurred at any point during this process in order to perhaps handle an exception. Uh, maybe we're processing a mortgage application, something else detects a fraudulent situation, um, and we immediately stop whatever we're doing and go do something else. We can also generate events from within the process definition um, in order to synchronize other processes. So with BRMS 5.3, you have an extremely powerful tool for business automation. It's business process management, business rules, and business events all integrated into a single uh, distribution. Thank you.